In the annals of history, the defeat of Nazi Germany in World War II stands as a testament to the resilience and determination of the Allied powers. It was a conflict that spanned the globe, engulfing nations in a maelstrom of violence and destruction. In this narrative, we delve into the myriad factors that contributed to the ultimate downfall of Nazi Germany, a regime that had once seemed invincible. At the helm of Nazi Germany was Adolf Hitler, a charismatic but ruthless dictator who aimed to reshape the world according to his twisted vision. Yet, despite his early successes and the formidable military machine at his disposal, Nazi Germany's defeat would become inevitable due to a confluence of critical factors. One of the most significant factors that sealed Nazi Germany's fate was the burden of fighting a two-front war. In June 1941, Hitler initiated Operation Barbarossa, a massive invasion of the Soviet Union, believing that the Red Army could be quickly defeated. However, the vast expanse of Soviet territory and the resilience of its people turned the Eastern Front into a protracted and resource draining conflict. The Eastern Front became a crucible of brutality, where the German war machine faced not only the Red Army, but also the brutal Russian winters. The Battle of Stalingrad, a city reduced to rubble, became a symbol of Nazi Germany's overreach and the Soviet Union's unyielding resolve. Nazi Germany's ambitions outstripped its economic capacity to wage a war on multiple fronts. The regime required vast resources, particularly oil, which it lacked in abundance. Meanwhile, the Allies, with access to global resources and industrial capacity, steadily ramped up their production efforts. The Allies' industrial might, epitomized by the arsenal of democracy in the United States, allowed them to continuously equip and replenish their forces. In contrast, Germany's resource shortages began to hamper its ability to sustain a prolonged war effort. The Allied strategic bombing campaign played a pivotal role in eroding Germany's capabilities. The relentless bombing of German cities and industrial complexes disrupted production, damaged infrastructure, and undermined civilian morale. The Allies achieved air superiority, which allowed them to carry out devastating raids deep into German territory. The destruction of cities like Dresden and Hamburg, while controversial, was a stark reminder to the German population of the cost of Hitler's war. Adolf Hitler's leadership decisions often defied military logic. His insistence on holding ground at all costs, even when strategically unsound, led to the encirclement and destruction of German forces in battles like Stalingrad. Additionally, Germany's military leadership faced internal rivalries and disagreements. The German high command, plagued by power struggles and divided objectives, struggled to form a cohesive and effective strategy. This discord hindered their ability to respond to the changing dynamics of the war. As the war progressed, the Allies were able to mobilize and coordinate their forces more effectively. The D-Day landings in Normandy in June 1944 marked a turning point, opening up a new front in Western Europe and forcing Germany to fight a multi-front war. The coordination between the Western Allies and the Soviet Union in the East allowed them to apply relentless pressure on Nazi Germany from both sides, significantly weakening its ability to defend its territory.
Nazi Germany's allies, such as Italy and Japan, faced their own setbacks and defeats. The Italian surrender in 1943 and the subsequent Allied invasion of Italy further isolated Germany, limiting its ability to coordinate efforts. As Germany's allies faltered, it was left to bear the brunt of the Allied onslaught, largely on its own. The horrors of the Holocaust and Nazi war crimes galvanized international opinion against Germany. The discovery of concentration camps and the extent of Nazi brutality shocked the world and strengthened the resolve of the Allies to defeat the regime. The desire to bring those responsible for these atrocities to justice became a moral imperative for the Allied powers. The successful Allied invasion of Normandy in June 1944, known as D-Day, was a turning point. Allied forces established a foothold in Western Europe, pushing eastward. Concurrently, the Soviet Union launched a massive offensive, gradually pushing German forces back. The combination of relentless Allied pressure on both fronts forced Germany to fight a desperate defensive war causing its front lines to crumble. In April 1945, as Soviet forces closed in on Berlin, Adolf Hitler realized the futility of his cause. He had retreated into the infamous Fuhrbunker beneath the Reich Chancellery, a concrete refuge buried deep beneath the war-torn city. It was here, in the heart of a collapsing Berlin, that one of history's most infamous figures made his final desperate decision. Hitler consumed a cyanide capsule while simultaneously shooting himself in the head. Eva Braun, whom he had married just hours earlier, also took a cyanide capsule. Their lifeless bodies were discovered by aides and staff in the bunker. The news of Hitler's death sent shockwaves throughout the world. For the Allies, it was a moment of mixed emotions. Relief that the Nazi dictator was no longer in power, but also a grim acknowledgement of the immense human cost of the war. It marked the symbolic end of the Nazi regime, but the conflict still raged on. With Hitler gone, the remnants of the Nazi leadership sought to negotiate surrender terms. On May 7, 1945, Germany's unconditional surrender was signed in Reims. France, by General Alfred Jodl, representing the German High Command, effectively bringing an end to the European theater of World War II. 